Right here, engineering, graphics, and design, Linus. This is episode eight of the How to Hack Your Pet series, only on How to EGD. So we're going to, in this video, discuss in detail this section and the requirements for that section for you to get a 10 out of 10 for this drawing. Now, if we look at the pet document that you've all received, it's required for you to draw this at scale 1 to 20. And this is different from previous years, so please pay attention to this. The scale is 1 to 20. What is required? You have to show all the detail of the foundation, the walls, as well as a one and a half meter section of the actual timber deck outward from the wall. I'll explain that in the, my examples that I'll show shortly, but this is going to include the outer wall and then a part of this deck. It's not going to be the full deck that's included here. You also have to, in your sections, the, indicate the stacking door that opens onto the timber deck as well as a window and the roof. So the, another tip here is it says a detailed section or sections and most likely all of this will not be included in just one drawing. You'll most likely need to do two drawings. Let's look at the notes here. Use break lines to divide the detailed section into two or more parts each representing a width of Two meters. Okay, there's actually the tip for us in this. What must be included in the relevant views, and you can go through this list on your own, make sure that if there's anything here applicable to your site plan, that you do not miss it. Let's quickly look at the actual checklist for the detail section. Of course, this is going to be numbered 5.1.3, detail sections. All right, and this can most likely fit on one A3 page. So, what is the requirement? You can see it's quite a few marks here on the side. The sections correct according to indicated cutting planes and these cutting planes I hope you haven't yet added them into your floor plan because at this point when we have understanding of what's required this is actually when we're going to add in these cutting planes on your floor plans to make sure that your views are exactly like specified. Okay then you have to have your foundation your slab and your wall detail which you all know by now. Then, detail of at least one and a half meter section of that timber deck against the wall. Right, there's the tip and that's the important one. You have to include your stacking door detail, your window detail, and of course here that's going to be the lintels, um, the door frames, etc. Your roof detail showing what? The side of the roof and the section of the roof above the stacking doors and windows. Okay, very specific. Your labels and notes, that's of course your natural ground level, finish floor level, damp proof course, etc. Your detailed dimensioning, foundation sizes, heights, etc. All hatching detail and then of course scale 1 to 20 must be used and indicated correctly including the brake lines. If you get all of this done, you're going to get to 20 and they'll divide it by 2 to get you a 10 out of 10. Let's look at a couple of practical examples. Radio. so here is some examples from previous year's work. Of course, remember this scale was 1 to 50. Yours must be scale 1 to 20. So you're not going to have a full section or similar to what is shown here, but you are going to have parts of this. All right, so that's why I'm just showing this to make sure you have understanding of that. So the first thing is you're going to have to section through an outer door that includes at least one and a half meters of that deck. So we're really going almost up to this point here. You do not have to go the full length of that, all right? So you're going to have at the end of your deck, you're going to have a brake line here, of course, as well as there on the roof. And you're going to have the outer door with, outer wall with the lintel and the actual door frames. You're going to have the full foundational details, all the hatching, the damp proof course, etc. Make sure you add a joist here on this end to make sure to support that joist, joist hanger. Then you're going to go up, you're going to have your roof detail, and again, you're going to have only have a partial part of that. The second part will have another wall with your windows on the outside. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, here is another example. Just have a look at all the different details here. We've got some heights indicated, uh, etc on this one. All right, this child also did a bit of more zoomed in detail on those foundations to make sure that it is clearly communicated. But what we're getting to is similar to what you've actually done in class. It's a real partial section of this actual um, new development. So you can see here, it's the outer wall with a door frame 
and the roof. Now remember yours will have a deck here on this end and your roof will continue a bit further. So make sure you add that in uh, on this side and you're going to have your brake lines on this side. Uh, the placement of course of your sections that's going to be important. Let's have a look at that. Right here if we go back to your floor plan your cutting plane will be inserted through a stacking door that would be one position and the secondary position will be through a window i'm not going to show that one now but here's an example let's say for instance your deck is much wider than this of course you can enter your cutting plane make sure it goes through a stacking door and then when you draw it you'll have a break line you'll have your outer wall with your stacking door you'll have your deck part of your deck and then another cutting plane if i look at one of the examples here Here's another one. This one actually did the extra trouble of coloring this in. It's really this part of the deck where you actually will only see up to the end there. You've got your outer wall and you're going to have a partial roof. Very similar to how we've done it in class. Right though. So there it is. Similar to this. Yours will just be added on here. Your actual deck. All right. And your floor joist. Sorry for the freehand. Okay, and after about one and a half meters here, you will have a brake line. You're not necessarily going to show the end of this because they're only asking for a two meter section. All right, that's it. Good luck with the sectional elevation. Now it's your turn. Mm -hmm.